any whore. Uh, now we've finished our little trek through the arcade mode. Back to Sim, and back to the license branch for our next clat license, International B Class. The IB license, so 10 more tests. And uh, I see two of them that I'm really not looking forward to. But here we are. 15 minutes. Look. Chat's been moving fast, and I haven't been able to look a lot at it, okay? Don't kill the messenger, TC. So anyways, we're starting off with Rally Techniques 1 at Smoky Mountain North. So, while jumping across the tricky jumping spot, as I just demonstrated in the last segment, head for the tight corner on the left. From the straight section, be sure to enter the corner on the outside and brake quickly to swerve out, of, to swerve out the rear tires and cut inward through the corner. Now, one thing about the rally tests, at least in the North American version of this game, um, by the way, we're driving the Impreza rally car, is that they're fucking easy <laughs> to gold. In PAL, you actually need effort, but in here in fucking uh, fake freedom land, topical, it, you, no efforts required. So this is basically going to be a very easy gold. Now watch me not get gold. That was terrible, by the way. Don't. That's not how you do that turn. Well, I called it. I sure fucking called it. Who called it? I called it. God damn it. Apparently I'm stupid. 6.4 in PAL, so yeah, it actually requires more effort. It's super easy. It's super easy. It's so easy to go this. Oh my god, fuck me. It's so easy to go this, that's why I can't do it for some godforsaken reason. There we fucking go. Jesus. Okie dokie. I think, th hmm, it's been a while since I've struggled to gold a rally test in GT2, but there we go. It took three tries, alright. Well, I'll go fuck myself now. Anyways, Rally Techniques 2 is up next at Tahiti Dirt Route 3. So, this is a test of right and left drifting through three consecutive hairpins. After using braking and steering together to drift through a corner, learn the faint motion needed to enter the next opposite direction. Corner. Yeah. Driving the Evo 5 in this one. Rally car. Here we go. Yeah. I've seen a bit else, hey? So this is that switchback section here at Tahiti Dirt Route 3. I'm not gonna say anything about the gold time. 19.25. And that's not what I'm gonna get. Alright. Hmm. Apparently, uh, my memory sucks. Because I fucking. Alright. Either that or I'm just suddenly bad at rallying. Like, turbo bad. That's also a distinct possibility. Come on, there we go. Nice and smooth. And there, no, oh, okay. There we go. I think I finally figured it out. Cause I got the gold by seven tenths. Fucking beautiful. All right, so that was interesting. Now let's move on to uh, the tarmac and the Oversteer 1 front wheel drive test. This is a test of skill in driving in an oversteering FF car, which fishtails easily. Oh no. When fishtailing starts as you enter a corner, steer to correct it while giving it full throttle to steady the car. Counter steering, opposite to corner, may be needed. Okie dokie. So we're driving an FTO in this one, launching at 93 miles per hour, 25. Second gold. And, uh... 
Yeah, hey, it's Return of the Piss Line. It's been a while since we've done these uh, dedicated sections. I like these licensed sections. That means this is probably going to take a while. Okay. Thing is a little light in the rear, but it's not as oversteery as the fucking overview would suggest. And a 25.8, so three and a half tenths off of gold, first try. Not bad. So now let's go for gold. By the way, if you're expecting me to get, uh, finish this license tonight, uh, boy, do I have some bad news for you. I just wanted to see how second gear would perform. Not too bad. Oh, okay. Well, second gear actually really helped me out, jeez. Fucking zoom. Beat it by like two tenths. Or almost three tenths, actually. I forgot to look at this, by the way, at the end of the IC license. Oops. Oh well. So that was the front wheel drive oversteer test. Now let's go for the rear wheel drive oversteer test. So, this is an oversteering rear wheel drive car. Unlike FF cars, giving full throttle while fishtailing can cause a spin out. Inst instead, excuse me, accelerate while counter steering to correct fishtailing. Do not. Don't do it. Abruptly change speed or direction when entering a turn. Don't do it. Anyways, driving an NSX Type S0 for this one. Ooh. Gonna be, uh, be interesting. Because I'm really bad at driving NSXs. So 26.5 to pass, 24.3 for gold. Gold. Alright, it's not that bad. It gets pretty planted once you, uh, get settled into the turn, and that was a pretty good first run, honestly. One-tenth off of the gold time. Alright. Well. You know what? You, you, you know. Need a little smoother entries this first turn, which succeeded. Don't know if it was faster, but it was smoother. Well, it was a little faster. I think I'm about a tenth up in the first sector. And there we go. Second try. Alright, cool. Easy. Easy peasy. Thanks for the host, JC. So that's four tests down. Relatively quick fashion. Now it's time to tackle multiple corners three. So here, a gentle corner comes before a tight one. Start breaking while you still feel the lateral g-force of the first turn. The key is to break from the inside of the first turn toward the outside of the second turn. And uh, we're going to be driving a, a cabra, a pony snack for this one. So uh, let's take our pony snack and uh, do some uh, multiple corners. Oh, I should not have downshifted that soon. Also, I immediately remembered what this test was. A quick left-hander into the sharp. It's basically the first uh, series of corners in Apricot Hill. Okay, doke. I think the accidental engine braking from going to second way too soon helped me there. <laughs> first try, BP. <laughs> well, well alright. In Reaper. <laughs> It's okay, I'm gonna be punished now. Oh god. Well, fine. time for the first of the two tests that I'm really dreading. The low speed sw slalom. Oh, this is a slalom course. 20 meter interval. The right left steering should produce a lot of lateral motion and some spinning. Learn the rhythm of steering and accelerating. Ease off the accelerator to swerve and accelerate to steady the car. God, I hate slaloms. I'm so bad at them. I mean, we're driving a low-power car with this Peugeot, but... 
fucking here we go. This is gonna be the rest of the stream, probably. Oh no. Oh no. I forgot how to slalom. Oh dear. So, uh, let's try that again. Forgot to, oh, yup, 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 okay. College education. Holy fuck, that was really good. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so... However long that took me... I completed three attempts. Three. Fine. God, I hate slaloms. Fucking... Fuck, I'm gonna save the replay. Let's see, which segment is this? 21. In like 15 minutes. Only 15 minutes. Alright. Anyways, our first terror is done. Now let's move on to a multiple corners four. So, after a 90 degree right corner, that's a degree, degree right corner, enter a tight left hairpin. The strategy is, the strategy is to avoid being too aggressive entering the 90 degree turn. Once you've clipped the left hairpin, wait until the car's direction changes before accelerating at full throttle for a fast. I remember what this one is. I think this one gave me hell back in the day. I think this is the one where you're like, you're supposed to yeet the right hander and then... Yeah, it's this one. You have to like, yeet and then... Counter yeet. I remember this one. Alright, I think this one is going to be like the big, big pain in the ass. Decent first run, but, you know, it wasn't a gold run. I'm not blaming everybody, but it's like... Oh, thank Christ. Alright. Fuck. Okie dokie. We're, we're done with the torture chamber. Let's go. So, uh... I beat the PAL gold time four times, by the way. I would've got gold on the PAL version four times over. Fuck. God, that was awful. That was so precise. So precise. It did, did still take less time to do the blind Camaro test. Fucking shit. Alright, so... Let's move on to the next terrible thing of this license, the high-speed slaw. Oh. So this is a fast slalom. Long interval. The key is to keep the car steady and keep up your average speed by avoiding too much swerving that occurs when not accelerating. Finally coordinate... Finally coordinate acceleration and steering, I can't read, and use acceleration to steady the car. So we gotta do another slalom in an S2K this time. And just fuck. Fuck. I actually have no idea how fast I need to take these. 70 seems to be about the sweet spot. Oh no. Oh no. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing the plot. Okay, we're good. Wow, that was slow. Holy fuck, that was slow. Alright. Well, um... Here we go. Let's 
See, that felt pretty good. There we go. Okay. I think I was just do being too funky with the throttle. Instead of, like, going bit, 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 bit. You know, I actually lifted for longer there. Ugh. So, yeah, my throttle input, I think, was what was screwing me over there. Mostly. Finally figured it out. We got past the terrible, terrible test of terrible horribleness, and that's the slalom. So now it's time for some practical cornering. So, practical cornering 7. Going to Red Rock Valley again. Gonna drive an RX-7. So, this is the last section of Red Rock Valley. After the fast chicane, you must wind through a tight hairpin. Find a good line for entering the hairpin through the chicane, and find the right point to go full throttle out of the hairpin. So, explanation out of the way. Let's just, uh... Get to it. But I believe this it's called practical cornering because it takes place on actual racetracks instead of just license, like specially made license sections or test sections. So like you know, let's let's take your skills out onto the actual track, basically. And this is definitely not a gold run, but it was a decent start. Not. I like how the difference between gold and silver are two tenths. Two tenths. Dock your ass. I finally hit something resembling an apex. Won't be enough for a whole, you know, tenth and a half, but okay, maybe it will. <laughs> Never mind. I will fuck my... S Not only was that enough for a tenth and a half, it was enough for like three tenths. Yeah, we did it. Woo. Let's fucking go. Alright, so. Time for our final test of the International Bee License. Practical Cornering 8 at Laguna Seca. Oh god, it's this one. So, here's the famous corkscrew from Laguna Seca. You have to grope... Grope your way. Not the best choice of words, polyphony, but okay. You have to grope your way through since you can't see much ahead. There's an uphill before the breaking point and a downhill after, so break enough and enter the turn from the outside. Alright, let's... The best part is we're driving a Viper, so uh, we're going to be groping this Viper through Laguna Seca. Short shift. Oh my god, this thing is fucking beautiful. So I like how the entire test, like uh, the briefing, explains how to do the course screw. It doesn't say anything about how to uh, tackle turn 9. Because <laughs> we also have to do that. And a decent-ish first attempt. Also love how the car turns into this little access road every time. Like, oh, I gotta go over here. Alright, well. We have our International B license, but we don't have the Gold license yet, so, uh, here we go. Possibly Chris. Also, shout out to Pro Street having, like, bootleg Desert Watkins Glen. Pretty good. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Finally. Point zero zero four. Let's fucking go. The beauty of the snack. Alright, managed to get a whole ass license in one stream. Let's fucking go. One short stream. So we got our IB license with a new car this time. And also with the in the acquisition of the International B license, a lot of this game just opened up for me in the way I'm formatting this. Let's just say it's going to be a minute before we uh, go after the IA license. Just because I want to. Get the records. Yeah.
Alright, cool. Anyways, let's go see what our prize car is. Beautiful bearded bitch. <laughs> Dude, Kena's gonna have, like, meet the uh, requ requisites for, like, 15, 24-hour streams in the next week. Anyways, there's our beautiful gold trophies. Now let's see what car we got. A new car! And, ooh! It's the car I won the, uh, GT1 Route 11 all night with, except in a different color this time, the Del Sol Elm Edition. Beautiful. Really like that car. Fuck yeah. Alrighty, so. International B license acquired. Ten more gold trophies bring my total up to 40. So now, we get to do a lot of racing with this license, so. We will, uh, we will get started on that tomorrow.